Hello guys, how are you doing? They're getting this error in Laravel about without events. Um, here is the solution. Alright, first of all, let me show you this. Somebody asked this question on GitHub and he did not get an answer. In fact, the question was shut down. Look at this. He asked why he's getting called to undefined method uh, without events and um, it was cancelled was closed because you didn't get an answer all right and uh, they said they couldn't reproduce it the reason is because um for some reason i don't know laravel generator uh, if you're using laravel generator that's when you have the error and one of the lines has a code that um, causes problem look at this for instance, uh, it happens when you want to insert into the database, so probably to happen in your update function. So this is my update function, it handles courses, so I uh, submit a form, the form submits a request to this page. First of all, uh, Laravel generator is what wrote this code for me, so basically this retrieves the course, and if the course exists, uh, if it doesn't exist, it redirects, but then it takes the content of the course and saves it here. In input okay now the, f the the line that is causing the the error is this line this is the line that saves oops where are we where are we okay so more. okay yeah so this is the line that saves the contents of that form into the database for some reason this line throws an error so you have to rewrite it from the Laravel generator way into the um, normal Laravel way. So what I'll do here is do course equal to course where ID. So I'm writing the update function the way Laravel would have done it normally. So the ID is course ID. Okay, then we'll do update. And what do we update? Instead of updating the request, or we're gonna update the input. I'll tell you why. So it enters. So I've rewritten this line to be this line. Okay. They do the same thing, but this line will not give us an error. The reason I put input here instead of request all is because once you do this, you're gonna meet another problem, another error. So what I did was collect everything from requests that is coming from the form and save it into a variable. The reason I saved it into this variable is so that I can access things inside that variable. For instance, let's say there was an email in the form. I can do this email. You see, I can access it like this. Now, the reason I want to access it like this is because it's going to give you another error saying undefined token. To say token, there's an undefined uh, column. Uh, token does not exist. So it's going to give you the error that a certain uh, uh, column uh, token does not exist now what you're going to do is to remove that token column from this so what I'll do is on set input underscore token so this particular field is what Laravel includes in your form to generate a token for you so by the time it gets to this place the token has been used so you don't need it again so you remove it from the whole uh, content of the form that is saved here I, I will, so I've removed it before saving okay so actually I don't need this okay so I remove it then I save everything in this form and then we're good so you see so we're good now so this line saves me two errors that will come one after the other but um, it solves my problem all right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. See you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to this channel.